Hey, Gemini gang. Thank you guys for tuning in. All Gemini placements take what resonates and leave the rest. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Tarot classes are in the description box, you guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, Gemini. If you want to see more content from moi. All right, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so I think y'all got this one before. Let's see if I can, um, let's see if we get a new one. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I don't think we've seen that one yet. Um, we have seen this one, I know. And we have seen this one, too, on the bottom. So this one is the Precognition Psychic Ability Future Vision card. Okay. And then this one is... Um, what do I do with the book? Oh, here it is. This one is uh, Healing Earth. This one we've seen before. Um, the power to give and receive healing. Gemini's. Okay. So that one is 46, which produces down to a 10, which reduces down to a 1. So new beginnings, uh, Gemini's. So the affirmation for this one is I am one with the healing power of the earth. My choice to honor earth energy brings expanding blessings to the world. I love it, Gemini's. So I feel like with this energy, um, this this is a, this card is about healing yourself and healing others. But I feel like this is also, especially piggybacking off the other reading that I just did for you guys, healing yourself is healing others. You need to heal self first before you can try to heal anyone else. Because then you're going to be dragging everyone else into your foolishness. <laughs> healing yourself is healing others, uh, Gemini's. Okay, always remember that. This one is grateful optimism. Joyous view of the future. I love this. Uh, and then this was number 51, which is a six. Of course, the six is harmony. Um, the lovers in the tarot. Uh, Gemini's. This is interesting because both of these reduce down to numbers that are Gemini's in the tarot. So this one reduces down to a one, which is the magician in the tarot. And this one reduces down to a six, which is the lovers in the tarot. All right. So I find that very interesting. So let's see what Grateful Optimism says. I recognize and appreciate all the little joys that I, I've been blessed with. I look to the future with happy expectations. Again, I saw this energy in the last spread with you guys enjoying the fru fruits of your labor, enjoying where you are, um, you know, starting to see some of the work that you've been putting in on yourself or things around you, Gemini's, okay? So this card, I'll skim over a little bit. Light radiates from her brow chakra, projecting thoughts of great hope and optimism. Her heart center vibrates with feelings of grace and appreciation. Yes. So we saw the Knight of Pentacles in the last spread. The Nine of Pentacles is definitely about appreciating where you are, enjoying it, Gemini's, okay? Um, this card calls you to reignite your enthusiasm for your life, to look around and find bright sparks of present joy to kindle the flames of future hope. Love it, love it, love it. The gratitude reference in this card is not the same as on card 50, which encourages a profound recognition of your very value. This appreciation is more lighthearted, a blissful sighting of all the little experiences that bring joy to your life. Once you frame more happy perceptions of the past and present, you can look to the future with equally joyous expectations. Your grateful optimism will project such vibrant visions of the future that the universe will co will be compelled to respond. I love it. So lift your perceptions, elevate your outlook on the wings of the white crane. Feel the joy and optimism expanding your being, rippling outward into the skies of unlimited potential. You will soon find the great luck of crane energy bringing you all the prosperity, grace, and good health that you have chosen to be optimistic about. I love it, Gemini's. Four, four, four as I look over. Okay? So, yes, Gemini's. Gratitude, optimism. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting to a better space, a better place mentally, energetically, um, Gemini's. 
and I feel like it came from boundaries okay so I won't take all these but I will take the knight of cups I'm going to take the queen of wands because I don't know why but when I was reading this card I thought about the queen of wands card the eight of swords and the seven of cups also comes out uh Gemini's with the lovers uh with the lovers on the bottom i'll take the seven of cups since it fell out <laughs> how spirit just did that mm -hmm. yes that's definitely about baby it gets no better than that this is definitely about optimist uh being optimistic this is also about emotional independence and being satisfied where you are right now um gemini's i'm loving it I'm seeing too that you have a lot of options, whether it be with in, in love, within a career, you know, business, whatever the case may be. Some of you just have a lot on your plate too, the chariot on the bottom. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of you have a choice between two things. Doesn't necessarily have to be like love, but like jobs or which direction you should go in your career or something along the lines of that. Um Gemini's, but I'm seeing you are you're you're happy or you're getting to this happy place, um, Gemini. This place of sat being satisfied with your life, even if it means you got to do a little work to get there, um, Gemini's. But as I keep saying, I keep reiterating, um, the best way you can heal other people is to heal yourself. The Two of Cups, <gasps> the King of Wands. We have the queen of wands here so this makes me feel like are you dealing with a divine counterpart and i did do a reading for you guys that said something along the lines of you guys are here to heal each other so you may be healing someone gemini's these cards are going nuts and we're seeing the eight of swords again on the bottom so there's something here with this damn eight of swords the chariot again Some of you dealing with a Sag, uh, Gemini's. The Knight of uh, the Knight of Swords, the Temperance, and the Emperor. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Gemini's. Interesting. You're dealing with a divine counterpart. You do have a divine counterpart here. I'm also seeing too, Jim, like you need to make a damn decision about something, honey. There's something here that's requiring you to make a decision. And you're going to have to make your decision. You're going to have to be confident about it, period. Um, there's something that you're going back and forth with yourself about. But with this Knight of Swords here, I feel like the Knight of Swords is very kind of aggressive, fast moving. So I feel like Gemini, something is going to require you to have to make a really fast, quick decision. You're not going to have a whole lot of time to think about it. Or with the seven of cups here, you've already thought about it for quite some time and time is taken out. Okay. Like something you, you need to make a decision about something. You're going to know what that is better than me. Okay. Um, could be with lovers. So take that how it resonates. Gemini's but I'm seeing you are you're extremely satisfied with yourself a lot of you are getting a lot of inner peace a lot of you your confidence is going through the roof um yeah I'm also seeing like I said Gemini's if there's something that is requiring you to make a choice you need to be very you need to be confident in your choice make your choice and be happy with it don't second guess it don't try to you know run it back And I've said to you guys in one-on-one -on -one readings, there really is no such thing as a wrong choice, okay? We make choices based on what's right for us at that moment. So it's not necessarily wrong. Can you grow out of that choice? Absolutely. So, you know, you can make a choice, make this choice today, live with the choice, and you can change it another time, uh, Gemini's, unless it's something you can't change. <laughs> like, if you decide to... Uh, something major like if you decide to um have a child now that's some shit you can't take back <laughs> but y'all know what i was saying like if so if some of you guys are looking to king of cups on the bottom if you're looking to like find a place to live right and you're trying to figure out where to move to just pick a place because if you don't like it you can relocate you see what i'm saying 
Um, try not to overthink shit, Gemini's. Of course, I'm, I'm talking to Gemini's, so, you know, it's going to be uh, easier said than done. But, you know, Gemini's, I feel like you might be overthinking a situation if something is requiring you to have, um, you're going to have to make a really quick decision about something. I see love. Someone off, someone's going to offer you a cup of love, Gemini's. Could be an apology for some of you. It doesn't have to be, but with the healing energy here, I feel like someone is wanting uh, your healing energy or to heal something with you. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Damn. Seven of Wands. Knight of Cups. Yep. Gemini's, you do have a person here that. Maybe more than one. <laughs> you have the Knight of Cups here twice, Gemini's. The Six of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, one of them's from your past, or they could both be. It could just it could be the same person. But yeah, uh, Gemini's. The Knight of Cup. The Knights are about messages, like I said in the last reading. The Knight of Cups is a specifically a message regarding something that has to do with love. So you're going to get some type of uh, confession, love confession. Um. Yeah. The Knight of Cups can also be about um having more than one option. That's that's a a, a a meaning that a lot of people don't discuss, or like um like a side piece. <laughs> Gemini's. I know that's not gonna resonate with everybody, but yeah. Someone may just feel like you have other options. And so, oh, that makes a lot of sense too. With this Knight of Wand, uh, Knight of Swords here, and the Seven of Cups, someone may think you have a lot of options, and that's like kind of motivating them to rush in. A lot of knights. Some of y'all dealing with people younger than you, or dealing with uh mm, there's the nine of cups again gemini's are you fucking serious with the six of cups gemini's you're somebody's wish fulfillment mm -hmm. you are somebody's wish fulfillment honey and it ain't no more denying it and it ain't no more running uh gemini's but i'm also getting with this this energy Gemini's is someone is super optimistic about y'all's connection it could be you you're just really optimistic about life uh Gemini some of you are traveling too but a lot of you guys are just really happy with your life right now you're really happy with the direction that you're going in uh a lot of you are really focused on your careers um Gemini's you know building yourselves being happy a lot of you are really focused on your happiness um Gemini's you're getting very emotionally independent to where you're not so needy on this other person if there's another person in the picture uh Gemini's and it's it's bringing a lot of um satisfaction for you but I'm also getting Gemini's you are somebody's satisfaction you are somebody's happiness you're somebody's comfort with the six of cups here um and the nine of cups here twice I feel like heavily Gemini's. There's some type of decision that you're going to have to make. Yeah, see, and I and I said something about the Eight of Cups in my mind, and I'm seeing the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yep, the Five of Cups came out. Mm -hmm. You are somebody's wish fulfillment, Gemini's. And this person may feel like they've lost you or they're losing you. Now I will say this, Gemini's. You are good on your own but I feel like you may be dealing with someone that isn't someone that's not similar to the reading I did yesterday someone that's not um, happy when you're not around could be a uh, Aries Sag heavy Aries Cancer Gemini like you I knew this was going to come out the lovers, Gemini's, yeah. Could be another Gemini like you with the fool on the bottom, yeah. Someone's just simply not happy when you're not around, Gemini's. 
they're just not happy but they do feel like like i said someone feels optimistic that this can work someone feels a level of optimism about you guys um getting this right like getting this getting it right uh this time like one of my handwritten says um gemini's and i feel like they they want to get they want to get it right gemini's even if it means um you know them changing up some stuff about themselves because this person I, i'm getting like a, i can't live without you type of thing like this person feels like they can't live without you or they don't want to live without you gemini's this person feels like you are a very healing comfortable energy and this might be someone that doesn't they don't open up well to people gemini's and they're willing to defend y'all's connection yep you may have people too that don't um either you or them have people that don't necessarily approve of the relationship too all right i'm just gonna get a a few of these maybe four four is good oh shit <laughs> Okay, something fell on the floor. Oh, it's face down, so I'm not going to take it. <laughs> okay. One more, spirit. One more. I just pulled from the top. We are coming into union. <laughs> now, how many damn times are we going to see this car? Seriously. Of all these damn cards. Now, look what's on the bottom. Another, oh, this is a number eight. And it says, I know in my heart we'll be together one day. And that helps me trust. Let's keep working on us. I'm telling you, Geminis. I'm telling you. In order to heal someone else, you have to heal yourself. And I feel like that's going to be for both of you. Gemini's. Now, I'm not seeing this as someone that you don't necessarily want, though. But you are this person's wish fulfillment. You're who they want, Gemini's. Okay. Mm-hmm. Number. This one is six. And it says, we project our patterns onto each other. And this makes it difficult to see what is real and what is fear-based thinking. Child. Looky here. So this is a number two, and it says, I know this is more than a relationship and that there is a higher purpose to our connection. Yep. And then this one is a number three, and it says, I need you to trust me and believe I am working towards union with you. Told you, Geminis. They're coming right, right in your direction because I don't feel like this person is happy without you or they know that they're happier with you. Um, Gemini's it and I feel like they do feel very optimistic about working this out even if you don't Gemini's because you might not be as optimistic as this person <laughs> but yeah Gemini's hit that like hit that subscribe y'all thank you for watching peace out